Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and today I'm going to be talking about concerts I've been to and my experiences. I'm guessing many of you have probably been to concerts. I don't know why. I guess that's just kind of like what my channel assumes. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are here because you're like me, right? Right? That makes sense? That makes sense. So today I'm going to be talking about some of those concerts, like which ones were my favorite, which ones I hated, if I hated any, and my experience, and maybe tips too. Sounds like plan, Jasmine. Okay, so the first concert I ever went to was with my school. I live in Canada, so one of the things we have to do is take French because it's our second language. Or I guess one of our... We have two languages and one's English and one is French. So on a field trip with my school, we decided to go to a French concert and it was Greg, Etienne and Greg LaRock, yup. So anyway, I went with my school to that and we like sat in chairs and stuff and I thought it was really cool because I'd never been to a concert and everyone was like rocking out to the French music. That was, that was fun from what I remember. Would I have fun if I went to one of those now? Probably not. Maybe you'll like it if you like French, but they're basically songs that teach kids how to speak French. That's like what those artists do. I thought it was a grand old time. <laughs> the first English concert I went to is really embarrassing, but I went to a Justin Bieber concert with my mom. Yeah, let's all laugh for a second. So I saw Justin Bieber, Carly Rae Jepsen, Cody Simpson, and Drake? I don't know, he showed up and it was really embarrassing and at the time I thought it was the best thing in my life and now I think about it and I want to cry. I knew all the words and I probably still do and that's really embarrassing. It probably went so emo because that was wrecking me. <laughs> yeah, but at the time it was fun. When I have fun now, no, I'd probably start crying. And then I went to... A Maroon 5 concert and Kelly Clarkson, that was pretty good. I, I like Maroon 5, they're not bad. Then I went to a Headley concert with my friend Connor. I don't know if Headley's like popular everywhere, but they are in Canada. That was their like Canadian wide tour thing. So that was really fun. That was like a really fun concert I had with my friend because that was like the first concert I went to with a friend, I believe. And we went alone, so that was really fun. I think the first alternative thing I went to was the first Warp Tour where I saw like Mayday Parade, Crown the Empire, Chelsea Grin, and a lot more. Oh, For All Those Sleeping? They're not a band anymore, that's really sad, but the first Warp Tour I ever went to was amazing. Like the person I went to it with, I don't talk to anymore because let's not talk about that, but it was really, really fun. Like the first ever like concert I went to with bands, like I'll never forget that. I looked emo as shit, but it was super fun. <laughs> and I love Warp Tour. I went to it, I've gone to it three years in a row. I've seen Mady Parade a bunch of times, as it is. I saw Beartooth, went into my first mosh pit there. I actually went into seven. Mosh pits are scary. I almost passed out, but they're super fun. They're amazing. <laughs> and then I've gone to Mady Parade every time they've come to Toronto. I have like a special spot in my heart for Mayday Parade. I love them so much. And then with my friends, we saw Real Friends, As It Is, Mayday Parade, and oh, This Wildlife. That was the best show ever. Like I thought it was amazing because I love all of those bands. So being able to like know all the words to the concert is so fun. Like, you don't have to and you'll have fun either way. But being able to, like, sing to the band, there's just, like, this moment and if they look at you, you'll probably want to cry, but you don't cry because they're looking at you. It's amazing. <laughs> so I also went to a Slipknot concert with my dad and his friends, which sounds weird, but that was really fun because I love Slipknot and, um... The band got really like emo with us, like emotional, and they were calling us like a family and they sang Snuff and it was really good. And Snuff's not the only song I know, like they played the Heretic Anthem and People Equal Shit and all that stuff. So that was really fun. And then Pierce the Veil, Pierce the Veil was like one of the first fans I ever connected with when I was a little emo butt. 
seeing Pierce the Veil was like amazing. Like I'll never forget that like confetti shot out and it was like, maybe I could swim into your thoughts like your drugs do. I'll stop. Um, but that was really fun. And I've also met a bunch of bands. Like meeting bands is super easy at Warp 2 where they're either walking around. Like I met Ben from Ben Swade, who's not in Crown the Empire anymore, but I met him through a fence. And I met Frollo Sleeping when they were still a band. Like there's so many opportunities. And then the most recent one when I went to like New York is was meeting real friends, which was amazing. And they were all like posing really weirdly and then um I I think Kyle and I were the only ones doing normal things in the picture. And then the rest of them were crazy, which I love. Like having people that aren't awkward and you don't go up and meet them and they just like think that they're the best person in the world is really nice. Cause like I think that they're the best people in the world, but when they're not like conceited and like I don't have enough time for this, I think that's amazing when bands like make time to have meet and greets with their fans. That's like my favorite thing ever. I just found my glasses. I thought I lost them. There they are. <laughs> um, but tips for concerts is definitely don't do anything you don't want to do. Like if you don't want to go into a mosh pit, don't because they can be kind of crazy. But if you do, totally do it because I was afraid and I did it and it was so fun. I've also never crowd surfed because I'm afraid to get dropped, but I always like love helping people because you constantly have to push people over you. Like you got kicked or anything, but it doesn't really like, you don't feel it because you're in the moment. Um, and then a lot of the times I throw water off stage for you to catch. Um, I'd say that festivals are really fun because you get to see multiple bands and there's like band members watching their friends. So the whole spirit of that's fun. And you can also meet friends there. Like, I'm a really awkward person, so I've never made any of real friends at concerts, because I just have, like, anxiety. But, um, I have talked to people, like, in line and stuff, and they're all super cool, because you're all there for, like, the same reason, to see the bands you like, so that's really awesome. There's, like, a sense of community at concerts, if you know what I mean. So the most recent concert I went to was with my boyfriend, we saw I the Mighty. If you don't know who they are, you should definitely look them up because I think they're like underrated and they're amazing. I love them and that one was really cool because that was at like a bar and I'm not legal age to go to bars but um, they gave us like the straight edge X's on our hands which was really cool. That one was really fun because of how few people were there and you really got to be close to like the stage and everything and they'd walk around and get a drink. That was really awesome. Um, so either way, big concerts and small concerts are really fun. Personally, I'd say that I like smaller concerts better because they're more personal, like intimate or whatever. But also like medium-sized ones, I guess, are fine as well. It's just the big ones where you're like in row 500, like Justin Bieber-ass shit. <laughs> that was not good. You had to look at a screen, which like, in my opinion, is not fun. Anyway, no matter what music you like, like if you're going to see Justin Bieber, <laughs> or like a Melanie, who I love, Lana, Halsey, or Pierce the Veil, Slipknot, The 1975, Of Mice and Men, A Day to Remember, whatever, whoever you're seeing, make the most out of the experience because you're going for the night or for, like, it's not always guaranteed that you'll see them again. Like for all the sleeping, I got to meet them luckily, but they broke up, which was really upsetting. I'm fidgeting. But I did get to meet them. So, put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to say hi to band members because they love it. Like, they always, like, ask us to go give them hugs and stuff. So, if you haven't been to a concert, that's my advice. But if you have been to concerts, I'm sure you know how amazing it is. That's, like, the only kind of party I go to because I don't go to parties. I stay inside my whole life. But concerts, that's it. So, anyway, I hope you like this video. Have you been to a concert? Um, if not... What concert would you like to see? What concert would you like to see regardless? I think that I would like to see A Day to Remember. I haven't listened to them in a while, but I love that. Or I'd like to see like Modern Baseball or Melanie or Lana or anyone like that. I just, I'd love that. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Tell me your concert experiences and stuff. Hi guys.